This video will show you how to update your console CFW bootpack and its firmware. Let's get started. So, if you look at the Hecate version, currently it is on 5.8.0 and when we boot to the HOS, the console firmware is on 14.1.2 and the EMS version is on 1.3.2. Yours might be different, but we will update those numbers to a higher version. For the CFW boot files, I will use my head spec. So go to my GitHub page, click release, and always download the latest version. This pack is universal. You can use it on any console's variant and it works for those who are moving or replacing their current package. Next, download the latest console's firmware which is at the top of the list. Take out the microSD card from the console. If you currently use boot files other than the head spec or want a hassle-free process, please delete the atmosphere, bootloader, and config folders to avoid problems. And if you see a folder called SEP, please delete that too. Now open the latest head spec archive and extract the content to the microSD card. Replace the existing files and folders. Create a new folder and name it anything. I called it FW. Open the latest firmware pack and extract the content to the newly created folder. Reinsert the microSD card into the console. If you see a pop-up window to set the date and time, you can set it or ignore it. But now you can see the Hecate version is already updated. We will update the console's firmware. Let's begin with the SysMMC and the stock firmware. Press launch, then select SysMMC. I'm so sorry I had to blur out mostly everything to avoid getting into problems with these stupid ninjas. Get into the album. Select Daybreak. Press Install. Select FW. Make sure you see the target firmware version right here. Then select Continue. Select Preserved Settings. This is crucial. Select Install FAT32 and XFAT. Then press Continue. And Daybreak will begin updating the console's firmware offline. And now press Reboot. You will get back to Hecate. To check if your SysMMC has been successfully updated, relaunch it. Open the system settings. You can see that the console's firmware and the AMS are already on the latest version. Now let's reboot and launch the EMU MMC. You can skip this step if you don't have the EMU MMC on your SD card. If you encounter this error, don't panic. Just press the power button and let it boot to the HOS. Get to the album and redo the daybreak process for the MUMMC. Why? Because you need to know that the SysMMC and the MUMMC are two separate entities. Why? Because it is like that. Please examine and learn about it. And now you can check the MUMMC firmware version by relaunching it. Get into the system settings to find it out. And that is how we update the CFW pack and the console's firmware. 
Thanks for watching this video.